Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. For today's yoga and music session, I will play for you some Chopin. I will start with a nocturne, and after your yoga session, I will play the barcarolle for you. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you, Katja Creer, for the music. Um, my name is Emily Kylie Sterna. I'm from Yoga Loft, Luxembourg. We're going to move through a yoga flow sequence now. So we're going to move the body, get the energy flowing, and build a little bit of heat before we settle down into the final pose on the mat where we can listen to Kati Kriya play again. So the sequence is for everybody, so please take any variations you need. And most important is the breath. So make sure you have the breath moving in and out through the nose throughout the whole practice. So we're gonna start with a breathing exercise. So come to lie down on your backs. Just find a comfortable spot, take your time, maybe shake the legs out a little bit, move the head side to side. Just starting to let go of whatever you were doing before this. Feel the mat underneath your body. And just notice how your breath feels right now. Notice how the breath moves through your body. And see if you can deepen the breath and lengthen the breath a little bit more. Each time you inhale, feel the stomach lifting up. And each time you exhale, feel the stomach sinking down. So I'm gonna count you through a breathing exercise. If you feel like your lower back is tight, just bend your knees and place the feet flat on the floor. If you um, want, you can let your hands rest by the, next, by the side of your body, palms facing up, or place your hands on the belly to feel the movement from your breath. Shoulders relaxed, head is relaxed. Take a deep breath in, exhale all the air out. All right, starting all together. Breathing in, one, two, three, four. Hold the breath for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold for seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then come back to a normal breath at your own pace. So just find a nice rhythm for the breath, keeping it slow and calm and trying to keep that for the rest of your practice. If your mind starts to wander off to other thoughts or ideas, it's normal. So it's normal for the mind to think. So just when you notice it, come back to your mat and to your breath. All right, let's start to move the body. So bring your knees into your chest. Just gently hug your knees down and rock a little bit side to side, up and down. Just massaging the back out. And then release your feet back down and make your right leg up towards the ceiling. Leave your hands next to your body and just circle the foot out a few times. Bring some movement into your ankles, switch directions. And then turn your toes out to the right. Bend your knee, place the foot on your left thigh. 
You can stay here and just let your right knee fall out to the side, opening up into your right hip. Or you can take your right hand in between your legs and hold on to the back of your left thigh. Let the head stay down, let the shoulders stay down so that the chest stays open and you can still take your deep breaths. Each time you inhale, feel that expansion of the body. Each time you exhale, maybe you can pull your leg a little bit closer towards you. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Release your left leg if you're holding on. Uncross the right leg and other side. So left leg stretches up towards the ceiling. Circle the foot out. So move your foot around and feel this nice stretch in the back of your leg. Switch directions, other way, big circles. And then turn your toes to the left, bend the knee and place the foot on your right thigh. So again, maybe stay here or bring your left hand in between your legs and hold on to the back of your right thigh. So take your option, let the shoulder stay down, head stays down and face is relaxed. All the face muscles are soft, including the jaw and the tongue. And remember to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And slowly release your leg. If you were holding on, uncross the left leg, open the feet out wide, and just windshield wipe your knees a few times side to side, just gently dropping your knees to the left, to the right. All right, coming back to center, bring your feet back in so that the feet, knees, and hips are all in the same line. Press your feet down, press your palms down next to your hips, and start to roll the spine up into a bridge pose. So lifting the whole upper body up, leave the head on the mat. So find the center in the back of the head so that the neck is long and you still have some space between your chin and your chest. See if you can press the hands down and the feet down a little bit more and then lift the hips up higher. Take another breath, inhale, and exhale. Start to roll yourself back down. All right, we're gonna add the arms. I'm gonna move a few times dynamically. Inhale as you start to lift the hips, lift the arms up. Exhale, roll back down. Let the palms come down next to your hips. Inhale as you roll back up, lift the hips, lift the arms. Exhale, rolling back down. Two more times. Inhale with your breath, rolling up, opening the front side. Exhale, roll back down. Hips and hands touch the floor at the same time. Let's do one more. Inhale, rolling up, lifting high. Exhale, release back down. And this time, hug the knees back into the chest. Massage the lower back. All right, then roll all the way over onto your right side and come up onto your hands and knees. So use your arms to lift yourself up into a tabletop. So take your time, set yourself up with your hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And then gently step your right foot up between your hands. Make sure the knee is over the heel and then inhale, lift up into a low lunge. So dropping the hips, letting the front knee bend Use the strength of your arms, so reaching out through the fingertips. Take a breath, inhale, lift, and exhale. Take a twist, right arm back, left arm forward. So try to bring the arms into the same height, and then maybe you can turn your head, and maybe you can see the right hand behind you. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bring your hands back down, step the right knee in, and then step the left foot up. So bring your left foot up in between your hands and make sure that the knee is over your heel and then lift up into your low lunge. So let the hips drop as the front knee bends. If the knee goes too far forward, just walk your foot up more so you have more space. Feel the length here. All four sides of your body are lifting up. And then take your twist, left arm back, right arm forward. So opening the chest up and then maybe turning your head and looking back at your left thumb. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands down. Step your left knee back. And this time, curl the toes under. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. 
exhale, three, walk your hands back towards your feet. So keep the feet about hip distance apart and then bend a little bit through the knees. Hold on to your elbows and sway the body a few times side to side. Feel the feet grounding you down into the mat. And then release the arms, shake them out. Bring your hands onto the hips, bend through the knees a lot. Come up with a straight back, so lift up through the chest. Come all the way up to standing and then roll the shoulders a few times, big circles. All right, come to the top of your mat. So walk yourself forward and starting in mountain pose. Feet can be together or hip distance apart. Feet are parallel and they're equal weight in both sides and your shoulders are rolling down. Top of the head is lifting up. So the head is reaching up, the feet are pushing down and you're using all the muscles in your body to stay here. Close the eyes for a moment and just find your center. Sometimes we think we're standing straight but we're leaning over to one side. So find your center and find your breath again. All right, we're gonna move through some warrior poses. So inhale, open the eyes, bring your hands onto your hips, and just step your right foot back behind you. So you want your right foot to be at an angle, left foot to be straight, and then you use your hands to pull your right hip forward, left hip back. Then start to bend through the left knee, and then reach your arms up, warrior one. Palms can be together or shoulder width apart, but make sure that the shoulders stay relaxed. And start to bend through your elbows, cactus the arms, open the chest. Inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend your knee. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bend your elbows, bend the knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Let's do one more. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, cactus your arms and then release your hands onto the hips and stuff your right foot up to the top, back to your mountain pose. All right, let's do the other side. Bring your hands onto the hips. Step your left foot back behind you. Left foot is at an angle. Right foot is straight. Use your hands to pull the right hip back, left hip forward, so that the hip bones are pointing straight forward and lifting a little bit up, so the lower belly is strong. And then bend through the right knee, so the knee is over the heel again. So maybe you need to take a bigger step if you wanna bend more. Then reach your arms straight up for your warrior one. And we're gonna move again dynamically with the breath. So bend your elbows, open the chest, look up, and inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, reach up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen the body. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, reach. Exhale, coming down. One more, inhale. And exhale, release your hands onto the hips, step the left foot up to the top. Back to your mountain pose, release the arms, find your center, close the eyes again, and just double check. All right, we're gonna move into warrior two. Open the eyes, bring the hands back up to the hips, and take a big step with your right foot out to the side. So now the toes are pointing towards the long side of your mat, and a little bit in. And then the front foot is still straight, so the toes are pointing straight forward, and then start to bend the left knee. So the left knee bends, Back leg stays straight. And then make sure you can see the big toe in your left foot so that the knee doesn't fall in. Once you feel ready here, reach the arms out, shoulder height, turn your head and look over at your left to middle finger. So the arms are reaching in opposite directions. Breathe in here. Inhale, straighten the arms, straighten the legs, look up. Exhale, re-bend the knee, lower the arms parallel to the floor. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend the front. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Stay here. Release your hands onto the hips and step your right foot up to the top. Back to your mountain pose. Other side. Hands onto the hips. Take a big step through the left foot. Make sure that the left toes are pointing towards the long side of your mat and the right toes are pointing straight forward. As you bend the front knee, 
Make sure you can see the big toes. If you keep pushing the knee out to the side, opening up through the hips, reach the arms straight out. Make sure both arms are in the same height, and then turn your head so you're looking forward at your right middle finger. And then from here, inhale. Lengthen the arms, straighten the leg, look up. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, come down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, push the arms down. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale, stay here. And then bring the hands onto the hips. Step the left foot up to the top. Back into our mountain. All right, walk yourself back a little bit so you're in the center of your mat. We're gonna come into a balancing pose into, into warrior three. So you're gonna inhale, sit the hips back into an imaginary chair behind you. So imagine you have a chair and you wanna sit down in that chair behind you. And then you're gonna slowly drop your hands onto the hips and you're gonna to start to shift the weight into your left foot. So pick up your right foot just a few centimeters off the floor and then start to tip the body forward and start to straighten your left leg out and then kick the right foot back behind you. Lengthen both legs out without opening the hips. So use your hands to support the hips and then reach the arms back behind you, lengthening the arms, opening the shoulders and then open the arms out like an airplane and then reach the arms all the way towards the front and then slowly bend the front knee Step your right foot in, back to your chair, hands up to the hips, come all the way up, roll the shoulders back down. All right, back in our mountain, other side. Inhale into your chair, so sit back into the imaginary chair. Weight is in the heels, toes relax. Drop the hands onto your hips, shift the weight into the right foot, and pick the left foot off the mat, just a few centimeters. Start to tip the body forward, and then slowly start to straighten the right leg out, and shoot the left leg back behind you. So push out through the heel, toes pointing down towards the mat, and then release the arms alongside the body, fingers reaching back, shoulders rolling away from the ears, and then start to reach the arms out to the sides, and then all the way alongside the ears, reach those fingers forward, and then bend the front knee, step back into your chair, hands onto the hips, coming all the way up. All right, release the arms, shake it out. Coming back to your mountain pose. All right, so come to the top of your mat again. And then lift the arms straight up, lengthen here. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, lifting halfway up. Exhale, step your feet back into a plank pose. And we're gonna lower ourselves all the way down. So drop the knees. Bend your elbows and come down onto your mat. Flip the feet, lift the chest for a cobra. Exhale, back into a child's pose and stay here. Let your forehead relax, let the hips relax. Move a little bit side to side. And then slowly walk your hands back towards your feet, come up to sit and just shift the weight into one side so you can swing your legs around to the front. Bring your feet together, knees out to the side. You want to bring your feet close to you. So bring the feet in really close. And then open the feet up like a book. So imagine you have uh, the inside of the book opening up towards the ceiling. Lengthen through the spine. And then as you exhale, slowly start to fold forward. It doesn't matter how close you are to your legs, but you want to keep the spine open, keep the chest open, and let the knees relax. Take another few breaths here. Maybe you come closer to the floor, even if it's just half a millimeter at a time. And then slowly coming all the way back up. Keep the knees bent, just move the feet a little bit away from you so you have a diamond shape between your legs. And then this time you're gonna let everything round. So let your spine round, let your arms round, let your knees relax. Imagine the knees getting really round and just let everything fall down. Again, it doesn't matter how close your head is to your feet, but you wanna let the head be completely heavy here. And just stay here for a few breaths, finding stillness. 
I'm just staying here, finding stillness. Maybe you can feel your breath moving. Maybe you can even feel your heartbeat. Allowing the body to soften down. And slowly lifting yourself up, use your arms. Use your hands to close the knees back in and open the feet out so the feet are about hip distance apart. And then take your hands behind you, fingers pointing forward. So press your palms down, press the feet down and start to lift the hips up into a reverse tabletop. See if you can lift the hips up higher than the knees without losing the feet. So keep the toes down. If your head, neck is okay, you can let the head drop. Otherwise, keep the chin towards the chest. Keep looking forward. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Release the hips back down. Open the feet out wide. So take your feet apart and then windshield wipe the knees side to side a few times just to release the lower back, getting a little bit of twist into your spine. And then come back to center. Move yourself forward if you're not already at the top of your mat. So you can roll yourself down all the way onto your mat. And then hug your knees into your chest one more time. Give yourself a little squeeze. Maybe lift the head up towards your knees. And then slowly releasing down into the last pose, final relaxation, Shavasana. So set yourself up here, shake the legs out, roll the shoulders down, move the head side to side. If you're cold, make sure you cover up. Take a sweater or maybe have a blanket close to you. Again, if your lower back feels tight, just bend your knees and place the feet flat on the floor. So you feel fully supported and relaxed here on the mat. You can get ready to Listen to our piece from Kati Kriya.
Thank you.